he's certainly a, a fan favorite, a, as you mentioned. Should he be back here and, and be a long-term Yankee, would you consider making him captain? That is something we would consider. Well, the title of captain is sacred in the Yankees' rich history, one that has been given to only a small group of legends. The role of a captain has changed from what it was in baseball's early days, but what has not changed is how it is reserved for a select few. Whether they were acquired from outside the organization or homegrown, these icons represent some of the most beloved players to wear the interlocking NY. Stars who were set examples for their teammates and for the greats who followed in their footsteps. There have only been two Yankees captains since the 1990s, Don Mattingly and Derek Jeter. It is possible that number 99 could become the first since number two. We heard what Hal Steinbrenner had to say. It just feels like it makes sense at this point, doesn't it? Yeah, and we just showed the most recent captain, Derek Jeter, and there, there are so many similarities that you can mention between Aaron Judge and Derek, the way they go about their business. But I was a teammate of Derek Jeter when he was named the captain and it was almost one of those conversations. He said, well, he was our captain before they named him the captain because of the way he went about his business. I feel the same way about Aaron Judge. When you watch him with his teammates, when you listen to him talk to the media and pump everybody else on the club up, He's a leader already. He's probably the captain in that clubhouse already, or at least that's what his teammates look at him that way. So the next step to make it official, it just seems like the natural progression. 